This is the Aerograph jacket from Graphene X and what makes this jacket unique is that the insulation in here expands as the temperature drops meaning that this jacket actually gets warmer as the weather gets colder. Let's have a closer look. Okay, so Graphene X make my go-to daily wear jacket, the Granarec Midlayer, which I've featured before. And I also regularly use the Nomad E packable waterproof jacket and other Graphene X outdoor gear. And as a fan of the brand, I always pay attention when I hear they are working on something new because they all seem to be pushing the boundaries when it comes to incorporating advanced materials and new innovations into their products. And when I heard they were working on what is effectively a self-inflating jacket, I was keen to know more and reached out. The jacket is called the Aerograph Puffer and as I film this, it's close to being launched on Kickstarter. And I'll link to that campaign in the description down below. Now, Kickstarter has always been a Graphene X preferred route to market for key releases and has resulted in over 12,000 backers across a range of different products over the last two or three years. So this jacket I'm wearing right now is kindly on loan from Graphene X and is one of only two pre-production prototypes that exist right now. And a jacket like this is generally designed for extremely cold weather, which often limits its practicality. And that's where Aerograph really excels because this puffer jacket self adapts to changing temperatures in what Graphene X call a world first. And they say that this makes this jacket suitable to wear in temperatures all the way from around 15 degrees, which is about the temperature we have in the UK right now, right down to minus 20 degrees. So this is effectively two jackets in one. And to put this into context, this jacket's warming capacity can change from the equivalent of an FP650 down jacket to an FP900 down jacket. An FP stands for fill power, which is the measure of the loft and therefore warmth of a down jacket. And as a comparison, this puffer jacket from Canada Goose sits in the middle of those two figures with a quoted FP of 750. And when I say self adapts, what I mean is it actually inflates with the insulation in here getting thicker as the temperature drops and it does it without any intervention and without any power and is maintenance free. So how does it work? Well, the insulation in this jacket uses a space age material called aerogel and aerogel is the lightest solid on earth and it's a man-made material and is made of up to 99% air. And aerogel is beginning to find applications in lots of areas and NASA use it extensively. And it seems the main practical use revolves around the fact that aerogel infused into other materials can act as a very compact and efficient insulator and is used on things like undersea pipelines to reduce bulk and for thermal protection of planetary spacecraft. The mechanics of this application here though, despite affecting in the insulation properties of the jacket are in fact very different. And to show you what I mean I've managed to get a hold of this and this is the material construction that runs throughout the front and the back of the jacket and this is sandwiched between two layers of graphene integrated fill which I'll come back to. As you can see this is flat and flexible now the temperature in here right now is about 15 degrees C but if I put this in the freezer compartment of my beer fridge in the garage, this happens. So what is going on here? Well, the aerogel infused material used here is part of five layers of lamination. Now we know from basic physics that when air is cooled, it contracts and with the aerogel used in here, being 99% air, this contraction reduces the space which the air occupies and that creates rigidity in the material structure which then forms these tubes creating an extra insulating layer of air within the jacket. And when the jacket warms up, the opposite happens and the tubes flatten and that extra insulation has gone. Now I'm not going to be able to test this jacket in extreme cold before the release of this video, but I can say it really does feel up to the job. And I know from experience that my much lighter mid-layer granarette jacket, which I've been wearing for the last 18 months or so, 
with its graphene integrated fill, the same in fact that is found in the puffer, can easily cope with freezing temperatures. So I definitely have confidence in the puffer to cope with more extreme cold with the addition of the aerogel technology. And when the final production version delivers at the end of this year, I'll aim to test it properly in full on cold winter weather and feedback. Okay, so what else does the jacket offer apart from the aerogel empowered insulation? Well, it seems quite a lot. The first thing to note is that it's actually packable and compresses to a surprisingly compact size. And this is great if you are traveling and also great for those with something like this camper van here where space for a big jacket like this is always at a premium. The jacket has a PFC and PFA free water repellent coating, which will protect from light rain. Although for heavy rain, you should consider a fully waterproof outer layer. And as mentioned, we have a graphene integrated fill in here, 160 grams of it to be exact. And this excels at warmth to weight ratio. And importantly, this can still continue to insulate even if it gets wet or damp in say an unexpected downpour. And that's something which down jackets often struggle with. The ripstop outer shell is made from a bio-based ripstop nylon made from renewable sources. In fact, this shell fabric is 48% starch and it's tough and sustainable. In fact, Graphene X are a climate neutral company. So there's a lot of emphasis on the environment with all their products. Now there are two zipped front pockets with a soft lining, two large inner open pockets with a bit of stretch as well as one concealed inner zip pocket for extra security. Then we have a very effective fully insulated hood which Graphene X describe as RFE or ready for everything and I have to say it feels extremely cozy. All the zips used here are YKK, which are considered the best in the industry and a marker of quality. And the main front zip is chunky and it runs smoothly and opens from the bottom as well as the top, which I see is essential for good access when trying to maintain body heat especially for guys. Now the hem and the hood both have elasticated cinch cords, which I believe are being refined in the final version. And then as a bit of detail, there's a black on black embroidered Graphene X logo on one side, which I think looks good and a Velcro patch on the other. So you can put on your own patch of choice. So I really like this jacket from what I've seen so far. The technology effectively gives you two jackets in one, one capable of dealing with extreme cold and another for much more moderate climates. And that makes it much more practical in use. The quality from Graphene X has always been great and they back this up with a lifetime guarantee. And my experience with the Granarec over the last 18 months gives me confidence that Graphene X can deliver on this. And as for the price, this is expected to retail at around $400, which happens to be about a third of the price of my Canada Goose Puffer. But Kickstarter backers can expect a hefty discount and I believe the launch price is going to be $250, which sounds like a really good price to me. And if you want to check out the Kickstarter campaign for the Aerograph Puffer, then I'll put a link in the description down below. And if you want to see my video on the Granarick jacket, which made it into my gear of the year, then check out this video right here. That's it for this one. I hope that's been useful and thank you as always for watching.